e tikana ki a tuku atu ngā mihi ki a kuili uh, iri hapiti, uh, te kotuku re ngā tahi ko a uh, taukitu o Pairo, ko haere ki tōna hoa rangatira ki ona tūpuna. Nā re ra, rātou ki a rātou te hunga wairo ko tātou, uh, te hunga ora tātou ki a tātou anō. Kia ora, Minister. Thanks for your time. Um, how would you describe the legacy that the Queen leaves Aotearoa? Well, I think she's showing everybody what true service really means. And I think that's uh, she's a role model and, and a lesson to all of us. Uh, when she made that commitment, when she first became Queen, she lived, uh, lived that commitment right through to, to her final days, I believe, just the day before she died. She met with the latest um, UK Prime Minister. Mm. And so she, she lived that commitment right to the very end. So the Governor-General expects to travel to the funeral with the Prime Minister next week. Is there anything, got any more detail or is it still um, up in the air, those kinds of arrangements? Yeah, those details are still to be um, finalised, but uh, you know, it's appropriate that the Governor-General and the Prime Minister are there to represent New Zealand. I think it's wonderful that we have a Māori woman Governor-General, uh, so Māori Dim will be represented there as well. Um, and arrangements will uh, happen here after the service. Uh, there'll be a service here in New Zealand. And again, the details are yet to be uh, finalised exactly when that will be. But it'll be an opportunity for New Zealand to uh, mourn the Queen as well. Um, just in terms of the Prime Minister, she was supposed to be heading off to the UN. Does that mean that trip's been cancelled? Well, that's part of the decisions that are being made about how to uh, rearrange her travel itinerary so she can uh, try and meet all of her commitments. Uh, but, you know, most important, we need to have a presence there uh, to, um, at the service for the Queen as well as uh, the Prime Minister getting over to New York. You mentioned that it's important to have Māori Dham represented at the service there. I mean, the Crown has had a long complex relationship with Māori. Will the Queen's death impact on that? Well, first of all, I've been looking at the tributes from Māori in the, me Māori in the media, and uh, uh, to a person, everybody is saying, let's mourn the Queen as a person and acknowledge the contribution she made uh, to the Commonwealth. Uh, there will be a time when we have a conversation uh, about what this means uh, between the Crown and Māori, uh, but that's a conversation for another time. Right now we just need to focus on mourning the Queen and acknowledging her 70 years of service. In Māori, Dham, is there an expected sort of period of mourning to be respectful? Is that what you're talking about? Well, I think we should at least wait until after the funeral service, which is 10 days after her passing. Mm. Uh, but there'll be time over the coming weeks and months to uh, have a conversation about what next uh, for uh, Māori Dim and the Crown, the relationship there. But right now, the focus is squarely on uh, Queen Elizabeth and her lifetime of service. It, it does bring in a, a new head of state, uh, and that is King Charles III. Well, I mean, does that mean anything in the short term for New Zealand's relationship with, uh, with the UK and with the Crown? Uh, look, I don't think so. Um, what's struck me so far from what I've seen in, uh, through the media is that things are continuing on. Um, you know, uh, she left the legacy. The legacy doesn't um, end there. We've just got to continue on. Uh, and we'll be engaging with uh, both royalty and the UK uh, in the same way that we have. OK. There is uh, some, you know, you, you've been talking about looking at the tributes and call for respect in time of mourning. There is some pushback to that a bit online. Is that inappropriate? Well, everyone's going to have their own views. There'll be different views. Um, personally, I think let's go through the mourning period um, and, and then let's start, start having the conversations that will inevitably flow. But everyone's entitled to their opinion. Um, um, but, you know, let's, let's first of all just uh, pay respect for what she has achieved over those 70 years of her reign. Māori Crown Relations Minister, Kelvin Davis, thank you very much for your time. Kia ora.